here's how Apple is fixing the FaceTime eye contact issue with iOS 13 and ARKit. Welcome everyone, it's Andrew here from Apple Insider. And one of the big issues that's plagued FaceTime users is the fact that you never seem to be really looking at the person that you're talking to. Well, with iOS 13, specifically Beta 3, Apple is fixing that with a new feature called FaceTime Attention Correction. It's a new toggle found within the Settings app, and it does just what it sounds like. It fixes the attention issue. It corrects your eyesight using the True Depth camera system found on newer iPhones. Currently, this works with the FaceTime camera on the iPhone XS and XS Max, the same camera system used for unlocking your phone and those cute Ann emoji and Memoji characters found in the Messages app. Apple is even using this AR kit functionality and the True Depth camera when making FaceTime calls where you can apply these 3D Ann emojis over top of your head and other AR features. It naturally makes it an extension to correct the eye contact issue. I'll show you what I'm talking about. First, if I look at the screen, you'll notice it looks like I'm looking down. But when I look at the camera, it looks like I'm looking straight forward. That's just how things work. When you're looking at the camera, you're naturally looking up. But now with iOS 13 and that toggled on, when I make a FaceTime call, when I'm looking at the screen, at the person that I'm talking to, it now looks like I'm looking straight forward. In augmented reality, ARK is adjusting my eyes to look straight forward. And when I look at the camera, it looks like I'm looking up. So you can see I'm looking straight forward now and it looks like I'm looking naturally at the person that I'm talking to versus looking up where the camera is and it looks like I'm looking away. You can see how this AR kit functionality works when I pass something in front of my eyes. Even over the nose and over my eyes, you can see where it's warped, where that augmented reality is coming into play and adjusting my eyesight. Even though we're currently only in a beta, this whole thing feels very smooth and natural. If you didn't know what you were looking at, you wouldn't realize it at all. It would literally look just like the person that you're talking to is looking at you instead of the middle of their phone screen. Right now, this is limited to the iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max, possibly due to API limitations. This could be using ARKit 3, which only works on the iPhone XS, XS Max, and iPhone XR. But we'll have to see how it goes at the beta process by the time iOS 13 is released. So what do you guys think? Let us know down below in the comments or shout at me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.